the um, ability to uh, mass update, mass edit, or mass delete items within Lightning, um, and the capabilities of it have changed a little bit. Um, you know, previously we have used the um, App Exchange packages for those. Some of those packages um, may not be compatible with uh, Lightning, given that they're um, mostly Visual Force based or you know some JavaScript variant. Uh, something that's not, you know, some some things, you know, are um, or some other things that aren't compatible with with Lightning. So, um, in terms of options, uh, mass editing and updating um, is 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 built within the in Lightning uh, editing features within Lightning. Um, there's the settings you have to change in the um, setup user interface uh, settings as well as in the uh, profile in terms of giving access to inline editing uh, at the system uh, level for the profile. So once you do that you create a list view. Uh, this is the lightning uh, list view so I've created uh, a list view here. Some things, um, there, there's some considerations for creating this list view for example um, you know, uh, we, we need to um, make sure that in the filters we, we create certain filters like record type um, within uh, within this, these list views. And so I've created this uh, filter with the donations uh, record type. I've added some other things to hide some of the other sensitive um, donations here uh, in this partial sandbox. So um, you know, um, in terms of um, you, you, you see this uh, edit edit list here. So you can um, you can mass edit um, you can mass edit uh, the uh, the lines where you know you can go in here and um, let's say we want to um, change. Um, change these three uh, closed laws to maybe withdrawn or something. So you know, change it to withdrawn and then you say update three items or if you want to just update this item then you do that. If you want to update all three uh, you can update all three and, and save it. Um, so that's the mass editing, uh, mass updating feature. If you want uh, different columns you just basically go in here and select the fields to display it to add few which you, you, know, you want to add to this list view to, to update and, and edit. Um, the mass uh, deletion capabilities, there's a couple of different avenues that are um, associated with that. I mean this delete feature over here only deletes the specific line. Um, you know, out of the box wise we could go to things like uh, setup uh, and and uh, in the quick find, I look up mass delete, and uh, there's various uh, capabilities for accounts, leads, activities, contacts, etc. Unfortunately, we don't have donations or opportunities. And so, you know, there are a couple of options on that. You know, uh, one of the options uh, that I've looked into is the, um, the there's a different app exchange product um, for for mass deleting, and so. If we take a look at um, this App Exchange product, uh, which I've installed, um, we can look at the donations again. Goes back to this pin list view. Um, with this App Exchange product, um, there there is a mass delete uh, button that we can add here, and um, we have to select this specific record. But um, so let's say we want a mass delete, you know. Uh, you'd create the list view. Um, the other thing that I've noticed too with this is that um, it needs to be a public list view. So, for example, I created a private private list view only to for me, um, and it used to not show this, but okay, uh, it must have updated. But um, for for these list views, uh, for the mass delete. Uh, you would then um, select those um, those uh, opportunities or donations uh, you want to mass delete. 
uh, you would click on mass delete and you want to make sure you want to and then voila you've uh, mass deleted all those records